Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to All The Mods 3. How is everyone doing? I hope you are all doing well. Hope you're having a grand old day. So last episode, we did a lot of stuff. We, we got auto crafting set up and I've been continuing that trend. So if I look, if you come down here, um, I've added this little machine set up here and that is basically to do anything that needs atomic reconstructing. So currently the only thing I've got is nether quartz to prismarine shards and this is basically just continuously firing a laser you can see and then I've got a vacuum chest with a filter in um, so you basically put a filter in with whatever it turns into uh, the vacuum chest then sucks that up and it gets basically put back into the system this is a precision dropper which uh, doesn't need any anything happening to it uh, it's just that that needs power which is pretty nice so that's a pretty nice setup and I've also been adding more recipes you can see uh, so I've got power cells now at, well both sets of power cells in fact uh, so I've added a few of these advanced power cells and then I've doubled my storage and it is full again 400 million and then another 166 million in that so we're doing quite well on the old uh, RS storage now I think we are running a little bit low on some uh, on some materials like redstone gold is looking really quite bad that's all the gold i have basically i think i have a little bit oh wow we have a lot of golden apples which is uh i don't know if we can can we do anything with that i'm getting distracted but um computer craft environmental tech ah the regen modifier that's quite nice animal feeder animal feeder animal feeder um not massively a soul stone Ooh, saves you from death while carrying that's quite cool i i'll have one of those um and then a heart container ah i don't know what this is either cyclic interesting interesting i should have a look at that um but anyway gold yeah we don't have them a lot so you can see here i've got the um quantum quarry from extra utilities and i think we're gonna set one of these bad boys up uh because i i don't really want to have to keep going to the mining world and setting up the rf tools builder like we had been doing so i think we'll use one of these so quantum quarry mine box from a hypothetical dimension that might have existed requires actuators to be attached to all sides so you need a quantum quarry and then six quantum quarry actuators so i think we can do that um what i have done ah, ha, ha, ha is made some of these because that would be helpful i think so one of these should be easily enough done there we go and then we need six of these so six pickaxes one two three four five six there we go counting with hector uh, i don't know how many of these we can make um i don't know let's have a look one <laughs> more counting two i don't know how many enrods i have three oh that is it okay um do i have any oh dang don't tell me oh no i do i do i do i do i do so surely we can just smelt that yeah we're good we're okay uh let's just put that in there we go we're fine we're fine we're fine we're fine um should be able to make at least another four of those there we go we're, we're good we're good and i'm not putting in the diamond pickaxes just in case you're wondering because i i frankly can't remember if i've piped those out like any pickaxes at any point and um, from the system just uh, to keep it a little bit a little bit clearer but anyway there we go um where shall we put this i've been putting everything down here um but we are sort of running out of space we are sort of running out of space down here. Um, I mean, I could put it here. I could put it here. Let's do that. Let us do that. So, it needs basically. Uh, let's can I? Oh wow! I can't. I can't actually place that. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's get. Let's get some stuff. Oh wow! Look at how much sand we have. That's crazy. Right. Let's just get one bit of that let's put you there uh, put you on top of that like that there we go uh, and then what oh really oh that is so irritating at least there's this here there we go 
There we go. Uh, you, and then you. Boom. Excellent. Um, let's grab one of these. There we go. Uh, let's sleep quickly. It is always night time. I love the sleep charm. It is, it is so fast. So fast. And uh, let's put you there. Out. There we go. Like that. Boom. Uh, so this will be making stuff now. Like, this is already full. And you can see here, Quantum Quarry level 65, Blocks Mine 5, Biome Dense Twilight Forest. How interesting. You can change the biome here. You can basically put it into a different biome. That's just because, well, say for instance, you want more emeralds, you can set it to, um, you can set it to like a, 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 what are they called? Extreme Hills. There you go. I can, I can, I can think. Um, filters and then enchanted books and i think i would like to make one of those because we can add silk touch and i think i would like that now i know i have the old mining island going but it is it is fairly slow uh so i think this is a bit quicker it's a bit quicker but um i don't know i just thought we'll we'll do that as well so how do we make a silk touch book not a sulk there's obviously two ways Arcane in, in Sorcerator and um, one of these and a Slime Ball and 15 of that. That is easily enough done. Uh, slime. There we go. And I don't have enough of that, but I have tons of this solid XP. So that isn't, that's no thing. There we go. We could totally make it like an automatic, um, an in sorcerer later that might be nice at some point to do but um for right now we're good enchanted book there we go that was nice and easy and then i think lastly we should make an ender chest really shouldn't we and put it on there i think that's how it works and oh hey ender chest um where are you there we go can i make one i totally can there we go boo okay um come down uh, let's put you, oh, uh, I bet, I bet it won't work if we don't do that. There we go. There you go, it is now mining stuff and silk touch. And I think that basically, that does increase the power usage. But, um, oh wow, oh wow, you can see this is, um, yeah, this is, this is doing a lot, a lot more now. And in fact, we might have to, we might have to make this a little bit quicker. Um, where is where is the thing that goes into <laughs> yeah there it is so many wires attached to this now there there it is here it is um oh wow and there is there are speed upgrades on here but there isn't a aha there isn't a stack upgrade we can do that we can do such thing i will do that and then we'll we're going to go on and we're going to be concentrating on some mechanism Yes. Right, I have stuff done now. Um, I've basically automated uh, some mechanism stuff. So if you come down here to this labyrinth of um, everything. Oh, also, before I go into that, this thing, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Um, it, Older Mod 3 has it configured to take a lot more power than usual. Um, it, it was taking 20,000 RF per tick, which is, that's a crazy number, that's a crazy number. So I, I've had to put a buffer on it, just so I could, because that's basically as much as I am making right now. So uh, I was losing power, which was a bit crazy. But anyway, this is the Metallurgic Infuser. This is how you have to... Um, like use it for auto crafting so i've got an auto craft oh well a crafter set up here to make these things um all of these things and it puts those items into the chest and then from here you need to have something to extract items from the chest and into the metallurgic infuser so uh, here i have uh, these little things here and then here we've got all of that and um you just need to make sure that the the things line up so you can see this is purple and that is red so you just need to make sure that that is purple and that is red that is basically how that works so that needs to be on infuse and not just input that that fox me for a moment and then i've changed all of these now to just be in portus just so we don't clog up the ender chest too much so that is working that is completely working so 
we can see now that we can basically um, auto craft all of our mechanism stuff because we need like to do the quintuplin ore stuff you need a like a hu huge amount like a completely huge amount and I think what have I also done I think I did have I done steel um let's have a look steel um, ah, yes, I also did a recipe for steel, which is good. Auto crafting steel, I think. Yes, look, look at that. There we go. And um, because we need a lot of this stuff as well, which is obviously copper and steel to make the thermal evaporation blocks. That is to make brine. Um, there are so many, so many machines used in uh, quintuplin of uh, for mechanism so we're going to go through that now one by one it's going to be a bit of a slow process and i need to find a place to do it as well so i think this is triple tripling i believe i believe so the way this works is that each uh like end bit you can add the next one so this is single this is single uh single or processing uh this these two so this and then this is double and then all of this is triple and basically and then need to add quadruple and then quintuple so that's ba that's sort of how it works you can keep so which is a nice thing because obviously you can you can start out like just doing double then you can add this when you're done and do triple and then you can keep adding to it rather than what i'm doing is just doing it all in one and i've basically made all of these um elite and i've made them factories whenever i can just to even more i haven't put any upgrades in any of them yet uh, except the electrolytic separator just because that is noisy right now because it's the only machine that's actually working so um let's 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 start at least just testing this bit just to see if it all works um yeah basically so this is the input the purifying factory for the triple uh, and then that gets put into the crusher uh, enriching factory and then smelting factory so one gold ore let us see what this does uh that is doing a thing you can see and that's a good thing about the factory, it can do multiple processes and it uses the oxygen from the electrolytic separator to go into that. There you go, the gold clump is now being crushed. And you can see this is all slow right now. I need to put speed processes, then we've got that. The gold dust is being put into here. All of that, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gold, pulverized gold, and I haven't done this. This needs to be on input. There we go. And then that is being smelted. So we should end up with three bits of gold. Is this correct? I mean, this is quite a lot of stuff for just three bits of gold, it has to be said. But there you go. Yes, we've got pulverized gold. There we go. Looking very nice. Bam. And lastly, oh man, yeah, I definitely need speed and efficiency upgrades. But this will be worth it. And like I said, because it's a factory, it can do so many more processes at once. There we go. We've got three gold ingots from the one ore, which is grand. Okay, so now, now comes the quadrupling, which is, I think, the hardest part. We have quadrupling capabilities. Oh man, that took me quite a while. I had quite a few things that didn't pan out for me so first of all there is this thermal evaporation tower and uh, now it sh in newer versions you don't have to put it in a desert or anything like that uh, you can use these heaters resistive heaters using um energy to basically heat it up instead and you can see it that's the that's the thing i don't know if i need more i feel like i might um but this is 18 high. I don't, there's no water in here. Okay. Uh, that is empty. So I'm guessing it's just constantly making stuff. So you need to give it water. Then you need another output. Aha, there we go. We, we can see some brine going in there. And that is how that works. So I think this might be a bit of a, we might need to put maybe more water in or something like that. I don't know yet. I don't know if I need to make this faster. I, I feel like I do. Um, but if we go down now to the mess of wires, 
So we are down three now. Look at this. All right, so this is the new setup. <laughs> and it is crazy. So I had a huge issue with the chemical injection chamber. Um, basically, it just it just would not output to the left side. And I know sometimes the mechanism gets a little bit, you know, it gets a little bit uh, bothersome with that. So I had to... I had to basically make a new one and then put it down again and just not touch anything and it now is outputting to the si to the right side so that is going into the elite purifying factory over there so the way this works is <laughs> this like this is fairly crazy now so the brine is going into an electrolytic separator and it is making sodium and chlorine and the chlorine is being used, there you go, along with the hydrogen that we are getting from this electrolytic separator. So if you remember this makes hydrogen and um, chlorine, uh, th this is doing all of that. So that is now being piped all the way underground here into this chemical infuser which makes hydrogen chloride and then that uses that to make these things here, the gold shards. So we have quadrupling tech, like, available to us now. Like I say, I think the brine needs to be faster. Uh, I probably need to put some more heaters on there, maybe some more, I don't know, maybe more water. I don't really know. I'm not certain how that works because a lot of the documentation is old. So I'm not, I'm not certain. I'm not certain. But the next stage is quintupling. And there we have stage five. Look at this ridiculousness just to get um, ore quintupling. So so, and I've come to hate the mechanism input output because it is, they, they don't always play nice. And this is why I've got some chests here now. Uh, and why I've been using different conduits just to, so that they don't interfere with each other. Um, so what we have, this is the input, the chemical dissolution chamber. Which needs sulfuric acid, which you make in a chemical infuser using water vapour. So you pump water into there, you just need to click that toggle that to turn these around and we make water vapor and we need um, sulfur trioxide which we make in another chemical infuser using uh, another electrolytic separator using that oxygen and then a chemical oxidizer and you basically need to put um, sulfur in there and this means that you get sulfur dioxide and it's going so fast right now that you can't actually tell um, but it is, it is, it is going fast. So I've upgraded all of these machines with energy and speed, uh, and some of them with mufflers as well, if they're particularly awful. Um, so I need to get a way to put um, sulfur into there as well. So that's that's another thing that I haven't yet figured out how I'm quite going to do yet. But all of that makes sulfuric acid and then it needs to it makes a slurry basically and uh, which you need to wash with water and then it makes a, the slurry gets put into here which crystallizes it into a shard and the rest is as normal so let's see how fast this is right now so that is doing that that is doing that that is going into here which is going into here which is going into there which oh wow is already going into there which is doing that and then that and you can wow that i mean that is pretty fast there we go and we get r5 or oh, wow wow so i just need to find a way to make the um make the sulfur and it, it for me, it accepts both nuclear craft sulfur and thermal foundation sulfur. So sulfur from that we can easily get from a blaze farm, which we already had set up. I can set that up again. That is no problem. So we can easily do that. So I think I'll probably end up doing that. And then um, now, if you're wondering what are the things that I can, um, I can actually quintuple, and that's a good question. Well, the slurry will tell you. Um, so if you if we come here, you can see all the different slurry. So iron, uh, gold, osmium, copper. So all of the usual things, silver, lead. Um, what else have we got? And then there's some random ones as well in this mod pack at least. So um, abyssal craft seems to be done. Um, some aluminium, so some tinkers. Um, yeah, look at this. What, where, where was it? Astral star metal. Very interesting. Um, Iridium, so some of that. Lithium, 
but there you go. That's the that's the that's the thing. So mainly, I want this for um for things like gold, iron, and all of the all of the standard stuff. So let's put a almost a stack in and see how fast this is going. So you can see now, all of this is sort of working. This is making the slurry. Uh, this is cleaning the slurry, uh, and no, this is cleaning the slurry. This is crystallizing it, uh, which turns it into crystals. And this turns it into shards. The shards get purified into clumps. <laughs> the clumps get oh into dirty gold and then pulverized. And then this is just smelted. There you go. That is how all of this works. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at how fast that is. So there we go. That is all we're going to have time for for today. This took me so long so long to do and even just putting in all of the upgrades took such a long time it would be nice to do some more building next episode i think uh we've done a fair few heavy tech episodes where i've just spent time in like a little room like this i'd like to do some more building so thank you so much for watching hopefully it has helped you if you want to do this yourself but um yes well if you do good luck and uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, like a comment, very much appreciated. And a subscription is as well if you fancy it. Thank you so much. I've been Hector. This has been All the Mods 3. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.